the non-league football grounds of Great Britain, the official football association publication, sort of rhymes there, sponsored by Ascot, all the hard work done by Tony Williams, a very famous author in the football world. There's Oldsbury's Old Ground, the stadium, Buckingham Road. With the front cover and ed editor Tony Williams. The official FA publication. Bit of information there. The grounds of Great Britain featuring the non league. There's the former chief executive, Mr. Graham Kelly. Building sporting facilities to a cheap budget, as these were non league teams in the day. Not a lot of money there. There's Witten Albany's Old Ground, an introduction, and the ground plans. You won't be able to see it very well on camera, but we have covered seating, covered terracing, open terracing, an open area turnstiles, main entrance and all that. We start with A. We're going to go very, very quickly through the teams. Ultranum, that's the ground plan, match day programme. few pictures of the ground. Moss Lane, wonderful gas. It was also at the old Stratford in Manchester before it was demolished in 92. You have Ellsbury United. Their old ground at Buckingham Road, the stadium. Accredon Stanley. Ashford Town to Adverston United. Elm Swanley in Kent. I think they're defunct now. I think there's loads of um, teams to go through. Basically he's gone through all the football teams in the non-league. Some ground hopping records. We can fill in all the grounds you've been to. Go through some more quick grounds. Of course Barnet FC's old ground underhill with the massive slope. Now playing at the Hive. Barrow in Furnace AFC still playing at the same ground which they was actually a football league team back in 1972 before being voted out before relegation happened. Bath City, Twerton Park again it was a football league ground for Bristol Rovers. Boston United just disappeared when they entered the football league but one of probably the best grounds in the um, non-league Banger City, Barking FC, Bashley, probably won't want to remember this season. Only got two points all season. They've conceded a hat full of goals, to put it mildly. Bishop Stortford, Bishop, Bishop Auckland and Bishop Stortford. Got them around the wrong way. Bongatown and Bromley FC. Burton Albany. Now, looking like they're going to be in the championship. Let's skip a few pages. Blight and Spartans. You can see how very well illustrated the book is. Tons and tons of information. Former team there, Colston, AFC, Chelmsford City. Cambridge City. Not easy with you, this book's a massive book. And then what we have at the front, Cheltenham Town, just relegated to the conference, virtually on their way back. That's how the old ground looked, of course, that stand is still there. Chorley FC. Now I think they're Chorley Town. Not a bad looking ground, still think it looks the same. Go to the D's, Canterbury City, Corinthians, Dover Athletic, 
could be in the Football League next season if they win the playoffs. Dartford FC, Dagenham before they became Redbridge. Dulwich Hamilton. East Cowns, Victoria on the Isle of Wight. Gravesend and Norfleet before they became the famous Ebbs Fleet United. Probably not that famous. But I'll tell you something, Stonebridge Road was probably one of the best grounds in Kent in this time before Priestfield eventually got redeveloped and Sittingbourne moved to Euro League before getting moved on to the financial trouble. And that's how the book is. And at the end, we have some famous old grounds. Memories. Some of the, these are some of the old stadiums. Scarborough, of course, when they were became the Football League. I think there's an old picture of Mason United. Yeah, that is Mason United's London Road. Hence why Mason United are making a comeback. They was in the Football League, but didn't have their own ground to play at. I think there's even a picture here somewhere. Wolverhampton Stone Avenue in E17 London before they joined full, before they are merged with Ilford and another team, which I've forgotten their names. They became Redbridge Forest, which became Dagenham and Redbridge. And of course, Dagenham and Redbridge Forest got into the Football League and they're on their way back to the non league. A quick tour of the Welsh grounds. Well done to Andover at their new ground. And there's a quick look at my non league football grounds of Great Britain. Fantastic, fantastic book. Hours and hours of information, pictures to look at, plenty to read. The book, not the cheapest to get a hold of, but just look around because you could get a bargain. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video and I'll say goodbye.